what I've been talking about right here. No doubt. Future solutions, invention and door. Clip for the day, man. Clip for the day, man. I'm your host. 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 Hey everybody and welcome back. This is episode number 14 of the Future Solutions Fence and Outdoor Clip of the Day podcast. My name's Dave Gatto and I'm your host. Hey guys, really important episode. What I want to talk about today, guys, is I want to talk about how to track your leads. How are people hearing about you and why is it so important that we do this? So if you're not doing this, guys, I highly suggest that you put a system or a process in place that allows you to actually track these leads where they're coming from, and this way you could document them. So the first thing about us guys, 98 out of 100 people actually schedule on our landing page for our website. We have an app on there. They click schedule an estimate now. It's front and center. And when they schedule that estimate, they, they get into the software. They pick a time. They pick a day. They input their name, their address, all that stuff that we need to know to get back in contact with them. And here's the key. There's questions that need to be answered. There's asterisks by them. They cannot move past the actual, to complete the actual estimation process unless they answer these questions. So we said to ourselves, we said, hey, how are we going to track these leads? Very simply, guys, we ask the question up front. And that is one of the requirements that they question. How do you hear about us? So they click on that, how do you hear about us? And our four major ones that we contribute a lot of money to, the four major outlets pop up. Referral program, Google AdWords, social media, or yard signs. Those are the ones that we pump major money in. Those are the ones that we actually want to track the performance of. So they answer that question. And there's some other qualifying questions in there too that are really important that we ask, all right, guys? Because nobody wants to go out to an estimate that's not a qualified estimate, that's a dead lead, they're a tire kicker, they had no idea how much this was gonna cost, it's way out of their budget, everybody's time is wasted, so on and so forth. So we asked the qualifying questions in there, which are requirements as well. Do you got a budget? Is this a repair? If they say yes to the repair, we're out of it. We call them up, we recommend somebody else that we trust. You know, Are both decision makers gonna be present? Do you have a time frame? These are all important questions for us that need to be answered before we consider actually coming out to an estimate as we can get a boatload of them. We normally get anywhere from 40, 80, or 100 plus estimates scheduled weekly through our company. So what happens when a customer, like for instance, clicks, they heard about us through a referral. Here's what happens, guys. We have Zapier connected to the scheduling app. Zapier takes that and brings it into our CRM, which is our customer relations management software. And the CRM is able to actually convert these numbers in the percentiles and assign them to the different outlets, the different avenues that we advertise for. So we can see, guys, what's working, what's not working. This is what this comes down to, okay? We might be investing, let's just say, $150,000 in the yard signs and $100,000 into a referral program. And we find out that, hey, only 20 out of 100 people actually heard about us and scheduled an estimate through our yard signs. Let's take some of that money and put it into a referral program and into our Google AdWords, which are actually performing better. And also, guys, we track the conversion rate. How many of these sales did we close? What was the percentile on the closing sales of, let's say, maybe we got 100 people through social media? What did that percentile look like? Is that getting in front of the right audience? Is that getting in front of qualified buyers, qualified leads, people who are ready to make the purchase? So just to tell you guys a little bit more about our estimation process and how automated it actually is, because you might want to actually consider doing this something on your web page or talk to your web designer about something like this. And my web designer is Mark Lane with Eco York. He did a really good job of implementing this stuff. I highly recommend him. He's not paying me to say that. I'm just letting you guys know he's really good. So um, what happens when somebody actually schedules an estimate, the whole process is automated after that. There's a bunch of tasks that happen 
immediately. And we're a hundred percent paperless company. We went paperless two years ago. We were able to pull that off. But what happens is, and a lot of this is Zapier, Zaps or Zapier, whatever you may want to call it. I've heard numerous different pronunciations. And honestly, I really don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm just going to call it Zaps. Zaps sounds good. I like that. So when they schedule the estimate, it automatically pulls all that stuff and puts it into our CRM. And then the CRM assigns it to a salesman and assigns tasks to it. So they go through a sales funnel all the way to either closing the sale out or it's a dead lead. So they exit off there. And then also what happens, guys, is that Zapier, Zaps, Zapier, whatever you want to call it, like I said, takes that as well and puts that onto their tablets. So they got the names, the addresses, all this stuff ready to actually go out there and do the estimate and take them through the whole sales process. So guys, super important that you track the leads, where they're coming from, the conversion rates, do not slip on this, all right? I don't want a bunch of money flying out the window to something that's not performing, or if it's not performing, I might need to take a look at the metrics and say, why is this not performing? This is performing for other people in our industry. Why is it not working for us? So guys, Good stuff, really important to implement. If you got something out of this episode, guys, like it, share it, and subscribe to hear more. Thank you. Yeah, 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 that's what I've been talking about right here. No doubt. Future solutions, solutions and outdoors. Clip for the Clip day, man. Day, Clip man. Clip Clip man. Clip Clip man. Clip I'm your guy. I'm your host. 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 I